Okay, 3.2, we only have six questions here. So let's get to it. We are solving an inequality and we're going to express the, the solution set using interval notation. So here's our inequality and here's our function. And we're gonna solve it as if it's equal to zero because we need to know what our critical numbers are. So I set each factor equal to zero and solve. So x equals two and x equals negative four. Those are my zeros, they're my x-intercepts. So two and negative four, and because it's positive x squared, the graph opens up. It's a parabola, oops. So now we need to determine where our interval is. Oh, and I already messed up. Look, it's because of the inequality does not have the line under. That means that it is a dashed line on the graph. And I wanna show you what it looks like in Desmos. So if I have x minus two, x plus four, Four. Oh, it's hard to see. So this is a parabola. If we zoomed out enough, we could see it. But it's a parabola that crosses at 2 and negative 4. And because it's an inequality, it has a dashed line and there's shading. So the shading means all of the possible solutions are in that area. But we're not going to shade. We're not. I just want you to notice the graph because it helps us determine our intervals. So I'm going to go back here. Our function is greater than zero. So here's zero. It's greater than. So we want to look at the graph above the x-axis. That what that above x-axis. When it's greater than zero, it's above. If it were less than, it would be below. So we're splitting the x-axis when we look at these intervals. So again, with our inequality, it's a dashed line. It also means when there's no line under that we use parentheses on our interval. So look at our, look at our graph. We have this piece that's above the axis and this piece that's above the axis. So we have two intervals because there's two chunks of graph. So remember interval notation, we go left value, right value, and we're gonna have two intervals that we join with a union sign. So how far left does this line go? forever, negative infinity. And then it ends right here. This is why we needed to know this value at negative four. We look at our inequality sign and we use parentheses, union. Okay, now we're looking at our second interval. Look at the left value, it starts at two and it goes till how far right does it go? to infinity. So remember, these are intervals. They're not points. We're looking at the graph. So the most left it goes is negative infinity. It stops at negative four. And it picks back up at two and goes to infinity. And these are x values that we're looking at. 